Yo, 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 what's going on everybody, it's your boy Rex coming back with another video. Uh, this time, I'm, this is going to be a gameplay video, I'm about to be showing some high level gameplay of Forspoken. Now, a lot of people have been excited for this game, I've been excited for this game, and I've played this game for almost two to three hours now. Um, let's see... I think these are the same time. I'm just gonna go to the bridge because it's my my save. But anyways, what's on the agenda today? This game has a lot of depth. Um, I'm gonna be showing everybody like a lot of things in this game that may not be known because this game does a very poor job of explaining all of its systems and the mechanics. Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. Now, one of the big things about this game. Oh, also, let me show y'all this. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. So, playing on the hardest difficulty gives you a bigger challenge. I think playing on the easy difficulty just doesn't make this game fun. So, first, before we get started, let's look at um, the equipment. Now. You can switch her equipment, and if you notice, so for example, this is her, this is the equipment you start with, off with. 218 health, 113 defense, 107 purple magic, 104 red magic. And if you look at mines, the one I'm currently wearing, 264 health, 131 defense, 113 purple magic, 99 red magic. And then if you can see my different status um, effects, I have red magic plus two, enemies can be da knocked down on the ground more easily, auto heal effect trigger when enemies are defeated. Also, I have a necklace, and as you can see, 113 purple magic, 99 red magic. And you can see, these are other necklaces are not as good as mine. Now, you can use your mana to get different spells, like, however you want. But one of the big things, and why this demo is so amazing, it's so expansive. Like, I had to, I deleted my old save file and started annoying um, before I went to bed. And because of that, I was able to upgrade all of this stuff. Now, as you're collecting, like, all these treasure chests and stuff like that, you will notice, uh, you think, oh, these things are useless. A lot of these trinkets are not useless. They're meant for crafting and upgrading, and that's what I did. Did you find something? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you two things. First, we're going to go over to the uh, um, purple magic tree. This right here allows you to use crafting skills to turn breaking shards into other types. And then this allows you to use your crafting skills to combine breaking shards to the same time to improve their level. This these this skill plus the red one where you can increase um allows you to use crafting skill to increase the amount by which your cloak improves magic. These are very important. I haven't gotten this one yet. I don't plan on getting this one probably on my own time. But these are very important for crafting to make your character stronger. See, have you noticed I haven't upgraded any of my magic in this playthrough? And that's simply because I'm trying to get all this crafting stuff. Because the higher you're crafting, the more damage you're going to do. That's why my damage is so high already base. <clears throat> so right now, let's go to the map and I'm going to go to a crafting station. So something important that they don't tell you. Every time you come to one of these safe houses, there's always going to be a, a healing drought so you can have more healing potions. Also right here, you can rest in your bed and this will recover all of your HP. Oh, never seen that book before. And then right here are challenges, I'm pretty sure. You can accept these challenges. I haven't done one. But it seems like they boost your magic and your effects. So during the demo, if you really want to become the most OP person you can be, you could just upgrade all of the like you do these challenges and upgrade them. I haven't done any of them yet, but I'm planning on doing them on my own time. And over here is the crafting station. All right, let's do this. And you see here, this is where I upgrade. So I come over here. I don't have any um any more material right now, but let's see if I can upgrade. For, for instance, this. See. If I go here, 
I upgrade the health. I don't have the material for this one. So yeah, I can upgrade health on this one too. Then if you go down to your necklaces, I use this tall. Oh, I'm going to go over to, the, to my necklace. Where is it at? I think it's this one. See right here? The tall aster, I use that to increase my magic. And then also, you can switch out which are different status effects too if you have the right material to do it. Like, this game is really expensive. This is a really a RPG, RPG game. Um, so, yeah. Oh, actually, really quick, let me show y'all. Right here, you can craft more healing drops. So, I noticed people being very low health and they were not having potions. You can come back to one of these, craft more potions. And then you can... I still haven't figured out exactly what crafting these material would do. I have one of these, so I guess I craft some more stuff. But I don't. You can't use every single crafting item in in this game yet. So I'm assuming some of these items are just gonna be in the main game. Goodbye, now, Love you. another thing we need to talk about is your traversal. There's a lot of traversal oh, yeah. moves in this oh, game can. that is not explained. So, for example, as you're running. You're going to notice you're going to get a boost. If you top circle at the right time, you get a boost and you run faster. This one's going to be a chore. Not the pep talk I and, this, and this will give you more and more speed as you boost. And this helps you move faster. And then as you're holding your parkour, if you press X as soon as you land, I'm trying to get it right. Oh, dang, I can't get it. There we go. Yeah, but if you text tap X as soon as you land, oh, you'll be able to get a boost and jump further. It's still hard and hard for me to get because I haven't mastered it yet. Don't worry, this will be quick. I do hope so. But it's very important when it comes to traversal. There we go. And with those movements, you could just go super fast like this. And that's how you move fast throughout the entire game. And then if you hold square, you can dash. You can really just move anywhere you want to in this game. And I'm about to do this bridge mission also. Let's get this open up this chest. Oh, nuggets improve your um, ability to hold more healing potions. Okay. All right. So, before we get started, I want to talk about combat. The beauty of combat in this game, and it's really hard to get used to, is the ability to switch between your magics super fast and you can combine them to different things. Also, a lot of things that the game don't tell you. Let's uh, let's actually get back some. Get off this bridge so I can show y'all. So, for example, this is your. This is your normal attack, which you can just press R2 and you just slice. Now if you jump and press R2, something's there. What should we do? You have a jumping attack. And you that's just by tapping R2. And that deals more damage. Now, after you press if you hold R2, of course this is displaying the tutorial, you'll throw your magic spell. And this one's the spear. And if you press left or right on the directional pad as you throw, you will do a dodge. You could do it back. Now something that the game doesn't tell you, if you hold this, press jump and release, you have another attack. And this is for all of your attacks, for the most part, for melee at least. So if I go to my arc slice, 
I do that attack. And if I hold it, I do this. And as you upgrade your spells, of course, they're going to do more damage. And of course, they're going big, to have bigger effects. And then if you go to... There are slightly more of them than I'd like. Oh, dear. And for now, I'm just I'm gonna just show you some of the some of the basics of combat. And here, if you press L2, you know. You see, it's pretty easy to, even on hard difficulty, these enemies are pretty easy. And something that we didn't talk about are your support skills. These are skills that are on a cooldown if you use them once, and as you do more attacks, you gain the you gain the cooldown back. Now the game tells you the way to swap skills is press L1 and R1, and then move the right analog stick, and you switch skills. Now. Something that they don't explain to you is that you can quick swap between your um, purple and red magic skills by pressing left or right on the d-pad. See? You do it really fast. And this way, while you're in combat, you'll be able to use your skills a lot easier. And I'm going to give y'all a little showcase of what it looks like when I'm using all my skills in tandem. And you need to be using parkour while you're moving in battle. And then if you press L1 and R2, use a big attack. And this is just like quick combat. And if you get hit, you can press triangle, and that will give you a counter attack. I'm just giving y'all a basic inst inst instructions. And then once they're on the ground, because I have the thing that knocks people on the ground easier, it gives me my health back too. You see, and this is, and this is the basis of combat. <laughs> Eventually. <clears throat> you want to start missing. Disperse is one of the best spells I've seen so far for the rock. Because it, it helps you hit while you're doing this. And something else, if you press square while you're in combat, you will, you will, you'll grab onto your target. And you can drag them close to you and do that as well. And we're going to fight this boss. And I just want to show y'all a little bit of what it looks like when I combine everything together. Yep, don't care. You, lock, you can lock onto your opponent. This sword defense thing is really good. And I increase my magical power. How can I not? And that's and that even on hard mode. Absolute. This is really easy. Once you combine all your spells and you have all these upgrades, it is really easy to. Uh. To kill enemies. Like this game gives you incredible freedom.
Where is he? The game gives you incredible freedom to do whatever you like, and I can't wait to play this game when I have all the spells from like all her like her ice abilities and everything else that the game has to offer. And I'm pretty sure this isn't everything, and even her more traversal op options. Like even when you're falling from big heights, you just grapple. And it's also important to spot all the, um, you press up on the D-pad and you can spot more items. And I think items are really important. Seems we're free of any immediate danger. Items are really important because it's, it's really important for upgrading. And traversal, traversal is going to be really easy once you combine all your skills. You can get up to high places. Let's see how much magic I have, 58. I'm going to be saving my mana in order to upgrade this skill right here. It costs 144, so I'll be waiting to upgrade that to increase my cloak magic. So, um, before we end the video... I just want to show y'all a quick little something. I'm just going to clear this camp right here. And then that will be the end of the video. So we're just going to combine everything that we've done. Yeah, yeah. Stay frosty. Got it. Yeah. Woo. Feels like well, do something. You can even do your jump attacks from the air. What's that sound? Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. You want to combine all your skills. At no point do you ever want to just be using the same thing over and over again. It's no point. You, you, you constantly want to be using your parkour and your movement. Like even that I got hit but I had my defensive spell on so I didn't take any damage. This is pretty easy. It's just super easy to do this stuff. Sure looks that way. Huh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh. It's just super easy. It's super easy. That's your idea of a compliment? If you like. It's super easy to do all these things. And I just wanted to show this for people that um, have yet to get a grasp of the game and who have yet to fool or, or who actually who may be doubting that this game is very like good. Like when you're playing this game at first, it feels like infamous. But once you get used to it, it, it takes on a form of its on its very own. And, it, and this is this is potentially a game of the year contender for next year, even with Final Fantasy coming out. And um, potentially Zelda um, coming out. This is a game that I believe has the potential to be a phenomenal. I don't know anything about the story, but the gameplay, the combat, everything speaks for itself. So with that, I wish you all a farewell. Thank you for watching this video. Rex out.